So we are here in Romania for an annual exercise. We're just making sure that we can deploy safely in a COVID environment and do our job across seas. So the name of the exercise is Swift Response 21. So 21 being the year 2021. And we are just trying to do a coalition exercise with our allied partners. So Swift Response in regards to Defender Europe is a chance for us to check our interoperability with our allied partners and see how well we can communicate with our allies. So my job basically entails creating the link between us and the distant end. So I provide the transport to the satellite, which then goes to our distant end. So our, our partners back in the United States. So other countries are involved in my job because when I provide the link back to the other end, we provide the mission partner enclave to them, which allows them to communicate through our capabilities. So the process for setting up here in Romania, you wanna pay attention to the priorities of work. So your first priority is typically security. So we'll secure our area. And then there we begin our setup, which entails laying out the equipment, making sure that we have proper site position. So we wanna make sure that we have a link to the, we can see the satellite from where we're setting up. So after we establish our security and our site selection, we deploy the antenna, request access to the satellite and begin transmitting. My favorite part about doing missions like this is actually being able to travel the world. Like when I joined the army, that was what I wanted to do. And so now we're actually able to do that and I get to see other countries, how they work and how to do my job in those countries. I would say practice makes perfect. So the more you exercise, the better you are when it comes to execution. And training as you fight is something that we always do. So going overseas and I guess pretending to do what we would do in the real world definitely helps that experience when you go to do your actual mission.